Before I joined this uh, the service, I, I was in prayer, and how, what would be the good topic and message that I could share with you and support uh, everyone as a, one of our leaders here. As you know that uh, we uh, went to Philippines uh, last week, about five days, and I came back with a lot of good news and good experiences. And um, I thought um, this is such a good time to share what we uh, observed and experienced and you know, met a lot of good people. And what's the um, next plan, uh, you know, spiritual plan and, and also our education plan we do have. So I'd like to share with you and with a lot of pictures, uh, you could see it. And then I'm gonna wrap up this sermon with the uh, one video I just created based on this, you know, the, this title, Promised Land. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. I believe this message will be very, uh, let's say, applicable for your even life, even this semester, as a student, as a staff, teachers, and even parents as well. We went to Philippines um, last week, uh, the Monday, uh, about 20 people. Uh, but unfortunately, we lost one person at the airport, Incheon Airport. During the COVID-19, as you know, if you know, maybe not, you know, airport security system was a situation that is very strict. And wearing mask, that's a mandatory. And even all the vaccination, the, you know, certificate, and also what they, each country requires, they're also own their, their you know, uh, COVID, you know, requirements, policies. Korea, for the foreigners, uh, it depends on countries like PCR tests or antigen tests, you know, different type of you know, PCR and the COVID test that required. For the Philippines, uh, those who got the you know, vaccine vaccinated, you don't need to submit any certificate. But you know, if you don't have, or you're not able to access or come to the, uh, this country. So you know, all students and all the, the, um, the, part, the staff members, uh, we got vaccinated. And some of them maybe not because of their parents actually under 15, uh, they were able to join this one. A uh, lot of, you know, hectic, you know, like a lot of, you know, preparations and processing. If you kind of knew about this one, that you'd be surprised, you know, as a group, checking the, uh, actually, L, you know, L fly, the airplane, um, you know, the processing about two hours in the morning. We got to the Incheon Airport about 5 a.m. And we just barely finished up the, you know, checking everything's processing, you know, 7 a.m. It was really crazy, seriously, the processing. And everyone's really frustrated that we lost one person as one member. So, like, you know, a lot of, you know, mixed feeling, you know, we had to leave, you know, this country. And, wow, the, air, the plane is really small and then feels like a roller coaster. <laughs> it's like upside down and then, uh, seriously, they're almost vomiting, like, I feel that. And kind of, I was like, we had to pray, Lord, please, it helped me to, you know, be there safely, like, you know, arrive, arrive there. So, I travel a lot, many, many countries, but it was the memorable, though, it was called, like, experiences about, you know, the airplane, the, the airplane the journey this time. So, like, weird, like, you know, flight, uh, the experience we had. And we land safely, and then this, the picture is the we, you know, uh, the, the first, you know, picture we had. And immediately kids, what they said, those who used to visit uh, Philippines, then this was so, sort of the uh, Loteria, uh, the version in the Philippines. A lot of local people, uh, Philippines, they really like this, you know, version of sort of a KFC. It's a lot of chicken, but interesting is the rice. You know, white rice they do provide. And, um, they also give us the salt and some peppers and we could spray on there and then, you know, it's a mild in rice and sort of dry rice and we had with the chickens. Uh, chicken is pretty good, uh, but one piece they gave us, um, it was not enough, but it was pretty good. So we gathered together, you know, so eating with, uh, do you know the Coke or Coca-Cola? The taste is different for each country. That's really interesting, right? Korea, between Korea and America, is different taste actually. Even sparkling is quite different too. In McDonald's, so, so taste is different too. So wherever I go, wherever I go, all the time, I would like to go to McDonald's. Then when I experience about taste of McDonald's, being mixed set. But I was not able to visit uh, McDonald's this time. 
and uh, Yi Chan and uh, Ji Sung and uh, three boys, you know, they have here. But look at their faces, because it's serious. I'm having Jollibee. So, all right. And we gathering that night that we had orientation and, you know, what we have to do. I share about Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20, which is the, uh, the God's message, or Jesus' message, commitment. Com you know, command, commitment that we have to be the witness of Jesus Christ and teach the people and so obey and tell them about, uh, you know, proclaim about the love of Christ and go out all over the world until Jesus Christ. Why? Because Jesus will be always with us. That is the last message before he went to heaven. So we share and Another key word I emphasize on this word, it is called empowerment. Empowerment means giving my authority to the people, sharing, supporting, cooperation, teamwork. That is the meaning of empowerment, not top down, bottom up, which is the people of our members, even the uh, um, Philippines, they need this message, even influence the leadership from our membership members. So, uh, look at this picture. Uh, we actually the, uh, collect, you know, some uh, snacks and uh, you know, preparing, you know, putting on the small, the, you know, plastic bag, and uh, we like to distribute this one as a gift. Maybe in Korea let's say about 1960, 70, when we said, okay, when you come to church, we'd like to give you snack, cookies, or toys, and even pencils. A lot of kids, they want to come. But today, you know, Korea's economic situation, you know, well-developed, people, you know, they don't actually, they're not desperate to have kind of little, you know, school supplies or the food. They may be maybe interested about toys, maybe PlayStation or Xbox or something, maybe, maybe electronic devices, more expensive, iPad, something like that. Why? Because our life kind of standard is really you know, getting higher or better. But here, people in the Philippines still fighting, it is called daily survival game. A lot of kids, they're not able to, guess what, to enter today, there's still a lot of kids that are taking online courses. And I ask this question, how many people gathering together online? About 30 and 35. And internet access, pretty speed low. And then my question is this one, how could you join the class? They said, majority of people, they're really academically behind. They're not able to join their classes. So what they do? So the places of result we visited, that place, all students, they just receive paper, the works from the teachers, and they work, you know, the, their homework as by, I mean, by themselves. Which is a lack of support they have, they have right now, and lack of, you know, I mean, the, all the education, the quali qu low quality they do have. So we uh, prepare this, you know, uh, the, the snacks and uh, the gift, we try to you know, uh, give them with the message about hope of God, encouragement of God, and the love of Christ. And uh, the day we uh, leave, we gather together. Of course, definitely, we wear the mask. And the weather is pretty hot, but fortunately, it was better than Korea because of what I heard that rainy all you know, the, you know, the week, right? But uh, it was shiny and really pretty good, but very humid. And the hot weather, about you know, 38, 35, like more than uh, above 35, you know, Celsius. So um, a lot of mosquito too. But you know, the places we stay and the food was really great. Awesome food, you know, Korean food we had, and uh, no bugs. But you know, cockroach today. You know, some boys they you know, saw that and freaked out and they screaming about 2 a.m. Like, I was really surprised too. Cockroach is a pokemon there. Yeah. And uh, this is the place uh, we you know, visited. It's kind of shoes, you know, not kind of shoes, but in you know, a small size kind of gym. Guess what? The you know, Filipino students, I mean, the people, they're really good at basketball. They're you know, playing about basketball more than maybe six or you know, five hours a day, actually. So when you, you know, shoot the you know, ball, and everyone almost you know, they make the you know, goal, and even the great you know, performance they had. 
So wherever we visit, visit it, you know, basketball, some, you know, equipment that they have. So this place, we, um, you know, worship the Lord. We had a VBS, which is the uh, teaching, uh, reading the book, English book, and uh, worship the Lord, and uh, teach the students, and a lot of kids. It was the first day the picture, and then some kids did join, but after this, you know, uh, the moment, a lot of kids went out and then tell others and, you know, about their experiences. And they invite them to join, you know, their, uh, our next, you know, the programs. So students, um, our students, you know, prepare and worship. And uh, after this one, this is the place, the care center. Probably you may remember that last two years, we encouraged you guys to join um, some donation, you know, um, the, what's called an event. And the fundraising, you guys probably prepare, save maybe money, you know, about uh, $12 US dollars. And, you know, you every month you donate it. And we collect that money and give to here. And what they said, they purchased, you know, uh, air condition. And uh, they also purchased uh, some equipment that could, you know, teach their students, especially computer, laptop computer. And they almost finished up their, uh, their remodeling, which is a renovation. Their you know, facility, so we you know, you know see this place, and after this one really hot, and look at this uh, you know swimming time. So oh Matthew is both guy, yeah, it is. I'm sorry, yeah, it's both guy, and then Chisa, and here mango juice. Oh my goodness, fresh and the mango juice, awesome. And Grace, guess what? Grace, the youngest person, she's she outstanding job she had. You know, she all the time support. You know, support you know little kids in the Philippine, Philippines. So and Julie, uh, maybe fortunately, unfortunately, you know, like when she came back, um, you know, she she uh, she was fine by the way, but unfortunately she got a COVID. But hopefully she's will be you know, absolutely fine. You know, and then uh, Lois, maybe an uh, outstanding, outstanding, surprising maybe moment. And then uh, Emily, this is the proper last. Uh, as a senior, uh, I really appreciate her commitment about, you know, last about six, four times, five times she joined it, four times. And uh, she had an interview with the J1 too, uh, with the, uh, the teachers, international school, the one, uh, the one international Christian school. But guess what? Some teachers, they recognize Evelyn's face and uh, they're really happy. Uh, you know, she came back again supporting, you know, Philippine. The students, uh, Jaewon, she had, and then uh, who was it? Uh, honey, honey also. Uh, then uh, Christine <laughs> and Bella. Bella is the first time, and uh, Victoria too. Uh, Victoria's the first time too. And all the both guys. And uh, Jason, and PK, and this is the, uh, the the church. Uh, Reverend Yang, the, it was his church. We had a Wednesday night service. Wow, it was Pastor Kim, the, the Victoria's father, the Emma's father, they delivered the message. It was really powerful and then true testimony, you know, in Christ. And a lot of kids, even the adults, they got really touched by his message, encouraged too. And uh, this, you know, the moment we had a you know, service. Oh, also, Grace Mom that joined, she was really, uh, let's say, what she told me that, it was a, sort of the uh, kind of restore my faith and restore my relationship with you know, Christ. It was a, such a blessing moment. And then during the service time, we uh, pray, you know, uh, pray for each other and then pray for a lot of kids. And then another day, we had the, um, another VBS, which is the, uh, you know, we invited uh, the result kids and um, the Christine, uh, you know, we uh, teach about you know some basic you know, Christ, the Christian you know stories even in the arts and craft time we help them to drawing and sometimes shaking their hands you know uh, also give them some sanitizer wash their hands and Grace you know approach the students and how can I help you out some you know uh, helping them as the uh, some uh, TA or volunteers so be with them is pretty good. And interesting is one, local kids, they don't, they're not wearing masks, right? They are not wearing masks. But we only, the guests, are wearing masks. Kind of weird, you know? So, um, look at the picture. K 
Kelly Chang, he took a picture. I actually, uh, you know, showed them in the, with the photo. But guess what? Their faces smile. I was quite impressed. Compared to seriously physical, let's say, economic situation, education situation, you know, like compared to our view, perspectives, they are extremely poor. And they don't have what we have. But interesting is what smile, what they have, we do not have. We do not have. On your faces, even other kids, public school kids, even our school kids, it is hard to see their smile, which is what? It's an unconditional, without any requirements, they're really happy, really peace, really happy. We continue to support them, and uh, you know, St. Tiger, and Jisung, and then Jason, and uh, Julie, we're making the you know, balloons, a lot of you know, part. We talk, sometimes we discuss together, and uh, we give them you know, a lot of you know, gifts you know, when they go home. So this is the picture I'd like to share with you. Uh, one of our, actually the uh, leaders uh, in Brazil, um, she has uh, three kids, and then Reverend Yang uh, has taught them about the last four years uh, you know, through the uh, small Bible class. And his, his, the, the, the son, the, young, the oldest son, he just got accepted uh, the university in the Philippines. But after uh, received the uh, acceptance letter, he was really happy. But on the other hand, um, and he was really uh, upset because financially he's not able to uh, go to college. He doesn't have money. So I asked him, uh, the even Reverend Yang, about the tuition fee. The semester, each semester tuition is about about three hundred eighty thousand won, which is his much payment. Less than four hundred dollars U.S. dollars, but you know, their family cannot afford supporting the son go to college, and Reverend Yang encouraged the, you know the, the student that no worry about you know finance. I like to maybe uh, maybe try to raise the, you know your tuition and then support you. He promised, and then contact a lot of lay people, which is the function chipsanimder or changmanimder in the Philippines. And, but somehow no response from them, no any you know, reaction from them. So and the Reverend Yang, he was in prayer. And uh, when we came you know, to the, uh, the Philippines, and then he asked me, you know, we have some budget. So if you don't mind, can we uh, support him with our you know, one of our you know, portions, with the final portion said, I said, of course, yeah, we could support. So uh, you know, we uh, kind of some collected you know, some you know, fees and uh, support him with the uh, about uh, four hundred dollars, and this is the picture that we you know gave him. You know, the piece, and this one is the also the daughters. We select and we collect you know your so the participants your donation and they give them um, their monthly actually um, their study uh, tuitions. It was actually uh, the moment. It, it, this is a pig, the baby pig. So. Uh, um, this is kind of sort of a huge celebration. Uh, this one has cost us about one hundred twenty dollars U.S. dollars, about But guess what? A lot of local people. This is the uh, the food that they could have only special event like wedding ceremony, maybe a special, maybe a, a birthday, or. Um, special, maybe a rich people, they could, you know, want to have a those, you know, party, then they could, you know, have this food. But, you know, w our team, we donated uh, some money and support the seminary student, which is the, uh, the Bible College, and the local people we invite to have, actually, uh, some banquet and uh, worship service. And the moment, chop up the hat, and uh, we have the food here. And this is the moment, um, we you know have the uh, all the services with the local church members and uh, seminary students. Let me read a chapter, uh, John chapter twelve, verse one. You guys know this story. Abraham, the Lord has said to Abraham, "Leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you." Abraham, this time 
before he met God, he was called as Abraham. But when God came to his life, blessed his life, and sent him as his messenger and represent God, then he had a new name. It is called Abraham. Abraham. The father of next generation. Through him, he promised, I will bless your people, your nations, your all descendants. And I will send you out to the place I promised you. I prepared. I reserved for you. It is called the promised land. But guess what? But Abraham said, yes, I will go. But there is no guarantee. When, date, and time, and certain location, and in no direction, God just commanded him, just go and follow my direction until I said, you just land here. It is called that, what they said, the Bible said, go to the land that I will show you. That's really amazing journey that he goes. And he just followed with his faith. And this one, promised land, promised land. I just want to tell you what it means, promised land. First one is this one. Maybe Abraham expected the land he's going to land, the land he's going to leave, the land his entire family is to leave, and forever it is about wealth, maybe money, prosperity, which is like, you know, rice, or the food, everything's what? Guaranteed. And health, they will be healthy, maybe good weather condition, maybe no worry, no bugs, maybe like no any animal, wild animals. They, everything secure, he feels, which means what? Successful life, prosperity. But somehow, we may consider about God. He encouraged Abraham, living like heaven on this broken world. Why? Because he has faith in God. Any difficult situation, trust God. Any challenge, trust God. Any enemies he faced, trust God. Living like heaven in where? The promised land. In any difficult, dangerous situations. Encouraging to incarnate, it is called living like heaven through the promised land. And third, another meaning is the God's people. The promised land, he's going to land and then he's going to meet a lot of people, which is what God prepared, God sent. So those who maybe help him out, maybe help them out, a lot of adjust in his situation. And last, the next one is God's community. Never ever met any society, but he's going to go through the people and community that God prepared. Through the community, he's going to experience worship the Lord in where? The promised land. The last one is this one. He's going to experience Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, to prepare in the Messiah in the future. Because uh, through Abraham generation, which is the King David and the next generation, Jesus, because he will be born in that family. Family. Let me finish up this sermon with this, some pictures. 1960, this is the picture, photo, Han River. Hangang. Look at Hangang. Look at this one. No any boat. Fancy boat. And look at this one. No any basketball court. No asphalt. 1960, everything dirt. Nothing. This week and last week, a lot of rain we had and flood we experienced. But in 1960, any small, I mean like little rain we had, overflowing. A lot of people got killed. And bugs, malaria we had. Still today we had a lot of people. But you know, everything's poor. Very low quality you know, of life. But today, 2022, Korea, Han River, is amazingly changed. But the people we don't remember about about 60 years old, or 50 years old. You don't remember about your parents' generation, their lives. But our father's generation, my grandmother's generation, they have faith in God, 
in any difficulties. And they promised, Lord, bless my generation. Bless my, my next generation. They're desperate to pray, desperate to worship the Lord, desperate to come to Christ with their sacrifice. I believe today's all the prosperity in South Korea comes from God and comes from your father, your grandmother, grandfather's generation, their sacrifice. This sacrifice supporting your education. You're here to get better education, which is what? The promised land. The promised land here. Then your parents, they do have a lot of expectation through this promised land as what? Christian community. I prepared this message based on this song. Toby Mac, I, this, I really like this guy. And one of his lyrics is this one. Let me read this one. I won't give up on this race. Broken, but I still have faith that this all life is all part of a plan. And I can feel it in my soul. One day, I will stand before the thrones with nothing left but hope and these two hands. Through all these seasons, I'm still believing. You're on my promised land in all my grieving. I'm still believing you're on my promised land. This music video actually talks about mining workers and uneducated blue collar work. But you know, two hands, nothing but have faith in God. So, based on this lyrics, I made a the video uh, through with the our mission trip of you know the video clip. So let's watch it here. I'd like to encourage you guys, uh, uh, please uh, consider this uh, video as your future, which means uh, God will send you out as His messengers. So I would like to encourage you guys through this semester, fall 2022-23. Please, don't fall asleep in the classroom. Because uh, you are very special. You do have a great opportunity to learn about, study, and God. As this promised land community. I would like to encourage you guys, put more efforts and encouragement, your confidence and faith in Christ. Every single moment is very special. If you desperate, you're not gonna be falling asleep. 여러분 하나님을 정말 사랑하고 내가 삶 속에 어떤 목표가 있다라면 잠을 잘 수가 없을 거야. 예배 시간도 마찬가지. 그리고 우리가 이 사람들 본 것처럼 너무 못 살아서가 아니라 우리가 blessing을 받아서 더 나가서도 있겠지만 하나님은 여러분을 통해서 좋은 많은 것을 많은 사람들에게 나누는 것을 원하실 겁니다. 그래서 여러분 어느 날 하나님이 보내실 때. 준비가 돼. So you gotta get ready. The time we don't know. Then try to do your best. It's for seniors. A coming month, a lot of hectic, you know, a lot of works. So I want to encourage you guys. Do your best. Do not give up. And depend on God. And through this great opportunity, which is the promised land. Promised land. It could be your people, God's people, God's teachers, and friends and this community, and the future, your community, which is college. God will bless you, bless upon this semester. Let's stick to God. Let's try to be in faith, our Christ and our God as well. Let's bow our heads. Jesus, we thank you for this time. We are about to start this semester. Lord, uh, COVID-19 and even financial, even that natural uh, disasters, a lot of difficulties we're facing right now. But Lord, we believe you call us as your children. You anoint us as your messengers, Lord, and disciples. We believe this is the place you prepare a promised land for each one of us here. Everyone, we want to get ready being equipped, being learned, educated, and be humble and support each other, and depend on you, and experience God, Holy Spirit. And through each classroom, each time, each fellowship, 
be with us. Yahweh, our Lord, would like to experience every day. When we graduate the school, when we walk to the commencement, when we finish up this semester, everyone, all teachers, all staff members, students, and parents would like to confess, Lord, all the time He was with me. And I'd like to continue to follow His direction and follow His promised land. Bless upon this semester and bless us. Thank you so much for your blessing, our parents and all teachers, their work. I pray in Jesus' name.